The selection of an appropriate sprinkler is a crucial part of having an irrigation system that operates to industry best management practice. The following video explains considerations when selecting an appropriate sprinkler for an overhead irrigation system. The operating pressure at the sprinkler is crucial to the overall efficiency of the system as it is the major factor influencing sprinkler performance. The operating pressure affects droplet size and flow rates which in turn affects uniformity and mean application rates. The flow rate of a sprinkler is a determining factor in sizing the blocks to be irrigated and the number of sprinklers that can be run simultaneously. Pressure and flow rates should be measured at a location as near as possible to the irrigation zone, not at the pumping station. The irrigation system, including main supply lines, pipes and fittings, should be designed by an irrigation professional to ensure the required pressure and flow rates can be maintained. Wind affects all sprinklers to some degree, with small droplet sizes being more affected than large droplet sizes. In windy conditions of more than 8 km an hour, a single stream, slow rotating sprinkler will perform better than a fast rotating sprinkler. The wind effects are greater if the operating pressure is at the higher end of the optimum operating range. Spacings of less than 5 metres and windbreaks can help to reduce the effect of wind on windy sites. Water quality and filtration performance impact on the ability of a sprinkler to provide continued trouble-free performance. Sprinklers with complicated mechanisms may not operate reliably if there is a build-up of deposits from salts in the water. If the water is not filtered, sprinklers with small jet sizes, internal gears or integrated filters may block quickly. The presence of abrasive substances in the water may limit the choice of sprinkler options to one with few moving parts or construction using materials that are wear resistant. The filtration requirements for each sprinkler can be obtained from the manufacturer or from sprinkler specification sheets. The height and density of mature crops and the ceiling height of structures influences whether an upright or inverted sprinkler is appropriate. Upright sprinkler risers must be well secured to a support with all sprinklers at the same height. This may reduce installation and maintenance costs over an inverted system as additional structures aren't required to support the system and the sprinklers are easily accessible. Inverted sprinklers installed above the growing area give more flexibility in the use of that growing area and may be desirable in situations with high plants in high structures. The cost of insulation for inverted systems must also be considered as additional support may be required. Inverted sprinklers located on droppers should be weighted to ensure effective operation. Some sprinklers can be used in both orientations by using different spinners or plates for each orientation. The sprinklers designed for inverted application have a flatter trajectory and in some cases the spinner is designed to prevent buildup in the spinner bearing. Non-drip valves may also be required for inverted sprinklers if the sprinklers are located above the crop. Droplet size is influenced by sprinkler design, jet size, flow rate and operating pressure. Larger droplets have better foliage penetration capabilities and are less wind affected but can cause damage to fragile crops. Lower mean application rates and small droplet sizes may be necessary for small container sizes. Stream rotator sprinklers are generally selected for windy or extremely dense canopy situations, large plants and wide sprinkler spacing due to their large droplet sizes. The sprinkler stream should not be intercepted by the crop or be affected by obstacles such as support posts or shade house roofs. The height of the sprinkler should be kept as low as possible to minimise wind effects but not so low that it affects application uniformity. Sprinkler heights should be adjustable if changes in cropping type are planned. Select a sprinkler spacing to match cropping, production and infrastructure requirements. Check for obstacles such as posts, ceiling height, benches and pathway locations that may interfere with supply pipes or sprinkler locations at the intended sprinkler spacing. Closer sprinkler spacings require more risers, fittings and sprinklers, increasing system insulation costs. Risers may become obstacles to production, equipment movement and mechanisation, 
but less water will be applied outside the growing area the closer the sprinklers are together. Sprinklers used for wide spacing have larger droplet sizes, which contact the media surface with considerable force, causing water and growing media splash, increasing media compaction, and can damage delicate plants. The spacing should be such that sprinklers are positioned to the edges of the growing area with as close to a square grid as possible and that each container in the area receives water from four sprinklers. Sprinklers can be either full or part circle with some models having both options. Road guards may be required to redirect water away from roadways and sensitive areas but this will be at the expense of the overall application uniformity of the layout. All sprinklers are affected by wind to some degree, with the level of interference or deflection depending on the sprinkler design, stream type and trajectory. Sprinklers with high trajectories are more likely to be affected by wind, or in covered structures, the cover may intercept the water, affecting the efficiency of application. There are established parameters for evaluating overhead irrigation systems to ensure they operate efficiently and to industry best management practice. Systems should be designed and constructed to meet these standard requirements. Knowing the absorption rate of the growing media is important when deciding on the appropriate mean application rate for the system. This in turn is determined by the jet size, operating pressure and sprinkler spacing. The coefficient of uniformity and scheduling coefficient are measures of uniformity of an irrigation layout, which is determined by the sprinkler selected as well as the way they are installed and operated. Sprinkler specification sheets are available from sprinkler manufacturers. These will provide performance information on pressure and flow requirements, filtration requirements, nozzle sizes, droplet formation, stream trajectory, wetted diameter at specific tested heights, and any specific connection or assembly requirements. Choose a sprinkler that meets all the requirements in the selection steps, is readily available for testing, has replacement parts available, fits within the budget and has acceptable maintenance requirements. Once all the factors have been taken into consideration, the final choice of sprinkler is dependent on the efficiency of each sprinkler and layout. A trial area can be set up and run to determine which sprinkler has the best uniformity and which ones meet minimum best management practice. Further information on selecting and designing sprinkler irrigation systems can be found in the publication Managing Water in Plant Nurseries. This video has been supported by the Queensland Government Department of Natural Resources and Mines under the Rural Water Use Efficiency Irrigation Futures Initiative. Special thanks go to the following businesses for their assistance in producing this video.